Hello, you two. This AK the Icon. And, um, I just want to tell y'all, though, um, I always believe in your dreams. That's the title of the subject. Is uh, I always believe in your dreams, man, because, you know, I it, you always believe your dreams and dream big. Dream the, dream the biggest thought. The most irrational dream you could possibly do. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, man, make sure you dream something that's totally rational and all that shit. Fuck that. Look, dream something that's totally irrational. You know, like, I'm finna have a trillion dollars, but I don't know how they gonna get it. Like, this dream totally something so big in your, um, your imagination cause to, to imagine something totally irrational. Because when the rational part come in, you're gonna be somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Better than what you are. You know, so I figured that out. Last year. I dream something. Right now, I'm still working toward a dream that's totally social rational. And besides, I personally believe that if you dream something totally rational, and you know it's, it's not it's not possible to get it, but you still have a purpose. You live longer. You know, people die when they don't have a purpose. You know what I'm saying? You ever see somebody that's retired, you know, doing the same thing every day, watching TV, and don't have a purpose? It them not be the ones that really just like, you know what I'm saying, like, was that quick? They die. They die quick because they don't have no purpose. They just lost all purpose. They did what they feel. They did their purpose. You know what I'm saying? So if I hate when people tell people like, okay, three dreams is something you could you could attain, because once you attain it, what else? You know what else you could do? Because you already attained your dream. You know what I'm saying? And then what you what else? After that, what else? So if I dream something totally irrational, you know what I'm saying? You know, because I know I'm gonna never attain it. So if I never attain it, therefore I could be like, okay, for the I'd be 80 years old, probably still be doing YouTube, and still, I'd be in a better predicament I am now. As you can see, as you started, when I started this YouTube, I was down bad, and now you see me like, it's getting better, it's getting better, it's getting better. It's, YouTube is basically a documentary of my life, but anyway, so it's like, it is, um, we just dream something totally irrational. I dream something totally irrational and shit. I said, I'm going to be a, trend, a, a quadrillion now. Ain't no way in the motherfucking world. People are just barely making billion dollars. But I'm still going to try to reach that quadrant now. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know, so because if I don't make it there, at least I could be probably somewhere in the billions. That's like the old saying, say, aim for the moon, but if you don't make the moon, you're going to land in the stars. The same thing. It's, I drink something irrational. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll be fighting towards it. But, you know, right now I got a lovely wife. You know what I'm saying? I got two kids, two beautiful kids, and shit like that. So it's like. And she she aiming for the moon too. I ain't aiming for the moon. I aim for Jupiter. I told her you can aim for the moon all the fuck you want. Because if I aim for Jupiter, I land on the goddamn moon. <laughs> shit, fucking the dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't falling about the earth. You know what I'm saying? Because when I take off, July fifth, when I get in the truck, July fifth. You know what I'm saying? When I take off, I told my baby, we I'm not looking back. He said this shit because you know in the Bible, in the Bible it says when that when that woman looked back, at, I think it's the uh, Abram thing, the, yeah, the Abram chapter, and then and his he tried to get his nephew, his wife looked back, she turned to put on salt. That's what happens to a lot of us, you know what I'm saying? We always try to look back in the past and try to reminisce the past and how what how it was, the good time used to be. The whole time, if you want to look at everything in perspective for life. Everything is a good thing, you know what I'm saying? It's the way you look at it, you know what I'm saying? I personally believe, I know I have bad situations, but, you know, I look at bad situations like, you know, what can I learn from this? Because pain is the best teacher. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Pain is the best teacher. You ain't gonna never find nothing, no nothing, no more learn, life learning experiences than pain, you know what I'm saying? You might find something like, it'd it, it be mediocre when you're in the happy times, and it might be like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when you're in happy times, you might learn, so, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, but that's when your things going well. When things go hard, you definitely going to learn some shit. Like, that's like you, it's like a test, and then you, you don't know the answers. You study, you study, you study, you study. And then when you ace that test, you remember everything on that test because it was hard. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's how things go. I'm not saying I've been through pain, but the pain it's a life experience. Uh, life experience. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make, make that mistake again. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to say, dream big. Dream is the biggest thing you can do, man. I always dream big. I always tell you, dream. I tell everybody, dream irrational. You know what I'm saying? Quadrillion dollars. Uh, you own the world. That's what I think about owning the world and you know everything in it. Cause me, I just. 
you know, and then another thing is too is when you get rich, what can you do to give back? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people want to get rich. Just as, oh, I just want to retire. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I seen people retire. You know what I'm saying? That's dead. That's broke people that don't have no role models. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? People say I just want to sit up my ass and I do shit. That sounds stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because if that's the case. This world gonna stop. You see how the coronavirus, when the world stopped, everything shut down. You know what I'm saying? How can you be so damn selfish that, you know, how can you be so damn, my wife just tested me, uh, how can you be so damn selfish and say, I just want to just do for me, I just want to get rich for me. See me, I, you know, the truck driver kind of saved my life and maybe turn, it, it maybe see what the world really is. There's so many homeless people out here, they need help, you know, because if you don't know what people, I hate when people do this, like, you know, people die, but put it on social media. You know, I get people money, but you never gonna see it because it's coming from my heart. It ain't coming from no, 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 to, to get subscribers and, and likes and shares. No, fuck all that, you know. I try to spread resume when I come over here. I ain't trying to, I spread, I mean, I don't even, you know, I got a couple, a couple of dollars, but if I could give some, I give some, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, I don't need to put that on YouTube because that's stupid. I hate that, man. I hate seeing people like that. And there's a lot of people on YouTube that do that shit and I can't stand that shit. If I meet you, I'm, I might stop and shout at you. So, I'm sorry. That just, just pissed me off. But, uh, but yeah, so just dream big, dream irrational, and go for your dreams. Like, share, subscribe. God love you, Jesus love you, and I love you, and have a blessed day.